Hey guys, how are you all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic, and welcome back to the channel. And today, guys, is August 27th. Uh, of course, uh, I have my Black Ops Cold War video. We did get some Black Ops Cold War news. I'm not really going to go over that. I will have the link for the new Black Ops Cold War in the description. It looks really awesome and badass, but right now we're dealing with, of course, King Shiz, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. This game has been up and down since June of 2019, and uh, there was leaks of a delay and all that. Now, I'm going to have the gameplay trailer, the brand new trailer, and maybe a few other trailers playing in the background, and then I'm going to also probably add some uh, LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens um, stuff in there as well, you know, my, my own gameplay of that. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to... Uh, it's going to be a little little different because of the... Uh, me going over it, but I'm just going to kind of be, I'm watching the trailer, and then you're watching it at the same time, so, uh, but yeah, so, uh, the, the good news is that it looks effing amazing, it looks insane, so, so good, but the bad news, I, I discovered two things, now, I know this game, that, well, okay, the first bad thing is that it is sadly delayed until spring of 2021, because F us, right, uh, this is not TT Games' fault, so do not throw hate at them. This is simply WB Games' fault for not marketing this game correctly for over a year and a half, and then springing the the bullshit that is it's delayed till next spring because you know what's gonna happen, right? We're gonna get to spring of next year, and then they're gonna go, oh, it's uh, spring 2022. So I hope not. I hope it really does come in spring of 2021 because uh, I've been waiting so goddamn long. And I did also notice that some of the cutscenes do lag in this game. Uh, I noticed that from the trailer in December. So I hope they fix the lag. Uh, Lego games really don't lag. The only one that lagged was the Lego Ninjago movie game. But still, it looks in insane. So uh, I'm just going to go shot by shot if you want to follow with me when you're watching it. Uh, but it starts off with the twin sons on Tatooine. Luke Skywalker looking really awesome. The graphics look insane, by the way. Really, really good. Uh, shows the next uh, shot of, um, attack of excuse me, Empire Strikes Back and Luke training on Dagobah. Graphics shine. I mean, yeah, I, I hope there's no actual lag in the, uh, you know, real game. I hope they fix that, uh, because that can be really, really bad and ruin the experience. But right now, it looks really good. So we have uh, Luke and Darth Vader from, of course, The Empire Strikes Back. Uh, we have the uh, pod, uh, excuse me, Padaways. Pad, God dang it. I'm so excited. Um, pod racing scene from Tatooine in The Phantom Menace with Qui-Gon Jinn. Uh, again, I, I'm literally watching the trailer right now, so if you want to follow along, but I'm not having any audio, so I want you to hear me. Uh, we have little Anakin, little Annie, putting his pod racing hat on, and then it goes into, uh, what I believe is uh, a cutscene of the first-person angle. Looks really, really cool and unique. Uh, and then we have another shot of Anakin Skywalker, uh, from M uh, Episode 2, Attack of the Clones, the, um, Padawan version. Uh, Attack of the Clones is my least favorite Star Wars film, however, like I said, I do believe all Star Wars is good, but if I had to narrow it down... Uh, but this looks like gameplay. This is Anakin uh, doing his thing, swinging his lightsaber around in what looks like Naboo. Uh, really, really good. And then it, of course, goes to a quick shot of Anakin. Same movie, Geonosian Arena in the in on the planet Geonosis. Um, looking awesome. You can see the new camera angle at full display here. Looks really awesome and badass. Destroying the super battle droids. You have the Obi-Wan and Anakin fight from Mustafar in Revenge of the Sith. Looking really cool. Uh, they're doing a lot of great things with that gameplay there. Uh, then it goes to another shot of Anakin and Obi-Wan uh, doing, like, a kind of a, a clash. Uh, or is what me and my father used to call it, or my, we still do call it, uh, an X-hold, because uh, it formed an X, and you were holding it together. Uh, so they're doing an X-hold, and uh, it looks so good, man. The lava looks insane. Anakin with his yellow eyes. Yellow, uh, his yellow eyes. Uh, the evil clone troopers. This is, of course, after Order 66. Emperor Sheev Palpatine uh, doing his thing, reeling him up and <laughs> damaged... Anakin looks pretty effed up right there. I like that minifig, though. You see uh, Anguish Anakin in uh, the same movie where he gets the helmet on him. Uh, Darth Vader looking really cool. Now, this this shot where he's in, like, the red smoke, it kind of looks like Rogue One. But, of course, this is the Skywalker saga, so it is not, you know, actual uh, Rogue One. But it looks... I don't really know what this is from. It's got to be from 3. I just don't know what it is. Uh, we get another awesome shot of now we're into the uh, original trilogy with R2-D2 and A New Hope. Looking really awesome. Uh, again, graphic shine. Now, this thing here with Luke doing, like, a, a really zoomed-in uh, shot kind of rem uh, reminds me of The Force Awakens, the last LEGO Star Wars game where you kind of had those duck-and-cover situations, you know, kind of like Gears of War or Grand Theft Auto or Watch Dogs, something like that. And uh, I like the rubber duck. It looks it looks very detailed. It looks very, very detailed, man. The graphics really do shine. And I don't know if this is a direct import from The Force Awakens where Luke's doing that. But it looks damn good nonetheless. You see the guys flying back and breaking into pieces. Another awesome shot of an X-Wing from the Death Star run. 
in A New Hope. Really, really cool, doing an awesome flip. Now, there's no HUD during the gameplay. I'm imagining there will be a HUD in the gameplay. Uh, episode uh, 5, Empire Strikes Back, Luke lifting the uh, X-Wing, and he can't do it, and then he finally does it in The Rise of Skywalker, which is a really epic callback. Um, great character moment. Uh, uh, Luke and Leia in the Endor uh, fight chase thing from uh, Return of the Jedi. Foilage in the jungle looks really well done. Uh, a little bit blurry, if I'm not going to lie, but uh, again, this, the game fully comes out spring of next year. <laughs> I hate saying those words, but uh, you know, it, it still looks pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. I think that's a, a really cool camera angle. The camera angle looks insane. That's the best thing, you know what I mean? Because playing the, the Endor fight scene in uh, Return of the what is it, Return of the Jedi, uh, in the Complete Saga, which I will be doing, I'm still covering that game, uh, it's going to look completely different, you know. Uh, Obi-Wan and Yoda looking really awesome, and uh, you got the Skiff Guards here looking really cool, Luke drinking some blue milk, which is always neat, <laughs> making a little mustache on his face. This is really cool, I like uh, Leia, Princess Leia hair, and then switches it over to General Leia Organa hair, really cool. It'll be interesting to see how they do The Force Awakens, because they already had a game on that. Uh, we have The Last Jedi, my favorite movie in the Skywalker Saga, and The Last Jedi is also my favorite film of all time, not just favorite Star Wars film. Uh, this is probably my favorite gag. Uh, of course, as you know me, I think The Last Jedi is amazing. Luke in that film is perfect. He is not out of character, and uh, I think it was really cool to see him. And then, then it turns around, and there's a bunch of porgs. I think that was really cool as well. And then Luke, uh, we don't know. We haven't heard Luke talk in this, so I don't know if they got Mark Hamill to return as Last Jedi Luke or older Luke. Of course, we don't have Mark Hamill as young Luke from the originals. That's the guy from Battlefront 2. Um, not Mark Hamill, but hopefully we'll get a uh, you know a good version of that. That would be pretty cool. But yeah, hopefully it's Mark Hamill. But if it isn't, really good character design. I like this. Uh, I like that a lot. It's pretty cool. And then, oh my god, it goes to the Snoke fight, dude. I don't know where Snoke is. It looks like he's obstructed by some bricks. Um, yeah, the bricks are yeah covered. But uh, the Praetorian Guards look insane, dude. Kylo and Rey going back-to-back. -back. Oh, that's my favorite scene in the entire Skywalker saga. My favorite fight scene in any Star Wars film. And uh, it's going to be so cool in Lego form. Here's um, uh, Poe and BB-8 on uh, Crate uh, before the big battle scene. Looks really, really awesome. Now, here's a cool gameplay shot of Finn from The Rise of Skywalker, Episode 9, uh, which looks like Ajon Klaas, which is their new... It was Dakar, and then it was uh, Crate, and now it's uh, Agent Klaus. Gameplay looks really cool, though, or the the graphics look really cool. You can see some uh, people in the background there if you kind of freeze that. The studs are back, so the studs are, are there. That looks really cool. Um, here's Ray and the gang from The Rise of Skywalker with Ochi's uh, uh, knife, uh, giving the access of uh, the late dead Emperor Palpatine, a.k.a. Snoke, on the Death Star 2 ruins that blew off... On to Kef Burr. Looks really awesome. Can't wait to see that. Here we have the uh, fight on Kef Burr between Rey and Kylo Ren, uh, where he, where Rey kills Kylo Ren and Ben Solo is reborn. Uh, I think this is a cutscene. It could be a quick time event, but it looks really cool. There's BB-8 rolling in the background. Looks insane. Uh, Rey's awesome jump. And then we go to the scene in Empire. The end of that. Here we have Attack of the Clones. Looking pretty cool. Uh, episode 9, the Porg, Older Lando, and Janna, Chewbacca and Finn, of course. Uh, we have the end scene of the, the whole Skywalker saga with Rey getting her yellow lightsaber, and Jabba's freaking out. Uh, and then we have an awesome shot of Millennium Falcon, a long time ago. And then it goes to an awesome shot of Hoth with some uh, vehicles here, some speeders taking on an AT-AT. Looks really cool. Here's an awesome shot of uh, Obi Wan and Ken uh, Obi Wan Kenobi. Hello there, and uh, General Grievous fighting on Episode Three. That looks cool. I think the camera angle is really interesting there. Here's the fight with the Rancor, which is really—it's it really weird, you know what I mean? Because like this game, it look yeah, it lags a bit in places, but it looks so well done and so finished. So it's like you know they could because it's delayed, you can't iron out these things, you know, they couldn't just say, oh, we'll, we'll fix it in four months, they had to delay it till spring? I mean, that's like freaking March and April and May, you know what I mean? Like, why not January? It's, I don't know, it, the whole thing's effed up, but like I said, it looks really finished. Here's Mace Windu on Coruscant running around, that looks pretty cool, um, I think the, hopefully the planets will be pretty big. Here's the scene of uh, Finn and Rose Tico on one of those broken uh, AT- Vehicles, when uh, uh, Holdo uh, does the awesome maneuver that, by the way, Holdo maneuver does not break cannon. 
Sorry, haters. Uh, that looks really insane. And I got Lexi far, far away. And we have the shots on Taco... Or excuse me, not Taco Donna. I keep getting my stuff wrong. Um, Starkiller Base. That looks really insane. Uh, R2-D2 flipping out. Here's something that's cool. This is your first uh, shot of actual um, space thing. So you got the Millennium Falcon. You got some Star Destroyers in the background, some TIE Fighters, and a planet that could be Crate, that could be Hoth. Could be really any ice or, you know, white-themed planet. But it looks really interesting. Now this uh, right here where Han Solo goes, punch it, and he... Chewbacca nail C-3PO. It's funny, but I don't mean to be a downer, but this looks really terrible. It really does. Uh, the, the lag is is unreal. It lags so poorly. Unless it's supposed to look like stop motion, but I think it's just poor lag. That's probably why. Maybe the game's broken. I don't know. Uh, here's the fight scene with uh, Obi-Wan and Darth Maul and the Phantom Menace looking really awesome. Uh, and then it goes to the Orbac Assault and Return... Uh, excuse me, uh, the Rise of Skywalker... The studs are there. Looks really, really cool. Some explosions going on. The gameplay doesn't seem to lag. It's more the cutscenes, which I don't mind all the way, but I hope it just doesn't lag at all. Uh, here's a clip of Yaddle, the uh, female version of Yoda, on the planet Kashyyyk, home of the Wookiees. Uh, studying the ground, studying the air, and everything around. It looks really well done. Really, really well put together. Um, here's a clip of C-3PO riding a Bantha in Tatooine. Uh, it looks insane. It really does. It it looks really, really good. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Lego Ninjago movie and the Lego Movie 2 graphics in a way. You know, slightly. Just just by the opaque and the, the feel of it. Here's a really cool shot of that, uh, you know, intense zooming in on the blaster combat. You know, so it's not just hold X for the reticle. You actually see so Leia is shooting at uh, the... Looks like a boss fight with um, Slave 1, Boba Fett. That looks really neat. There's Lando in the left, if you pause it right. Like never before. And uh, my favorite moment, Crate, the Battle of Crate. I really can't wait to explore Crate. It looks freaking awesome. Uh, it looks like you have one of the lieutenants, or one of the uh, resistance members, uh, looking around. That looks really cool as well, with the red dust. Um, here's the shot of Han and Greedo firing at each other to see who shot first. This looks stop motion too, so it seems like they're going for a fluid and then also a stop motion feel. I don't know. Here's the Battle of Geonosis, just wrecking people. You get a Star Destroyer. If you look closely, there's a Super Star Destroyer kicking a beach ball and then, so, and then immediately dying. And then Lando Calrissian and Chewbacca going into hyperspace. And it ends with uh, a lot of people's favorite scene. It's not mine. I think it's the best scene of Episode Six. And you can tell that isn't Mark Hamill. Uh, but my favorite scene with Luke ever is, and I will not be the last Jedi. That's my favorite scene of all time. And uh, I wish they freaking added it. I can't wait to see it in the game. Little cool gag of Palpatine uh, using a Lego piece. Not a lot of people like that. I was watching a stream, and everyone was kind of biatching about that. Um, I don't know. I think it was a pretty cool gag. And we're going to end on this spring 2021. I think that, I mean, the game looks cool. PS4, PS5, Xbox One, free upgrade, all that stuff. Um, it looks cool, but... Man, the spring 2021, it kills my spirits. Because it looks so good. Like, what's so wrong with it? You know what I mean? Why do they got to do it till spring? It should have just been freaking, you know, January or, you know. Because, you know, when we had that trailer in June 2019, we had, um, you know, uh, what do you call it? Uh, coming 2020. And then now we're in 2020. Where's the actual date? Oh, it's spring 2021. Okay, so we're probably going to get in the spring of next year, and they're going to pull a fast one and go, eh, December of 2022, you know what I mean? Something. Again, I don't blame TT Games. This is good for them because they can iron out the kinks. But for WB, it's god awful marketing. And really, WB Games, you guys should be ashamed of yourselves. That is a terrible marketing decision. Um, but anyway, we're going to have to wait a bit longer, sadly. But hey, we got COD 2020, Watch Dogs, Legion, Squadrons, possibly, and uh, you know some other good stuff in there. But anyway... Uh, spring 2021, hopefully now the marketing can actually pick up and it won't suck butt like it always has. Um, but again, I thank WB for actually giving us something for God's sake. Um, but, you know, when, when games get delayed, like Cyberpunk or Last of Us, you know, you actually had them come out and say, Hey, we're sorry, it's delayed. Halo Infinite, it's delayed, we're sorry. We want to, you know, but TT, it seems like at the time of recording, they don't have any statement. It's just, hey... Uh, it's delayed. F you. You know what I mean? It's just, I don't know, it's just, it's just kind of strange, you know? And it looks insane, really does, but 
the end of the day, man, this is bad news and good news. Anyway, tell me what you think of this. Again, only issue is that it's delayed, and there's a little bit of lag from what I can tell. Unless they're intentionally going for, like, a stop-motion feel, I do think they're, uh... I do think that there's, uh, some kind of lag in there. But anyway, it looks insane. Can't wait to play it. Uh, again, all Star Wars is good. I can't wait for all this. It all looks insane. I will be covering more gameplay on the channel and everything. Hopefully, we'll get more soon, and there won't be another freaking five months of complete silence. Uh, knowing them, it will be. But anyway, I'm 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 not looking. I'm looking forward to it, but I'm not expecting anything in in, in five months. You know. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy this. I can't wait. The day's finally here. Tell me in the comments what you think. Again, the trailer will be playing. It was playing, and it will be also be playing. Uh, you can also watch it in the description below. Make sure to subscribe if you're new here. Like the button. Like the button. Leave a like on the like button, and also tell me in the comments what you think. Again, sum it up. It looks amazing. TT Games outdid themselves, but it does lag from what I can tell, unless it isn't lag, and I'm just stupid, but it looks like lag. And the spring 2021 thing is really bad on their part. I think TT Games really needs to give out some sort of, uh, you know, paragraph where they explain why, because, you know, they're all saying, oh, it's, it looks great, 2021, 20, or 2020, 2020, it's coming in 2020, and then boom, they go this. Like, you know, what happened? You know, anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed this. May the Force be with you, and we'll see you guys in the next video. I cannot wait for the future of Star Wars.